Let's begin with a brief overview of Adobe Identity Management. Adobe Identity Management starts with the creation of business IDs or profiles. ESM stands for Enterprise Storage Model. ESM is a business content platform. These go hand in hand with each other. Let's start with entitlements, otherwise known as a delegated subscription with its associated quota. Previously, entitlements from different organizations would stack up on a single login account. Similarly, all of the storage from all of the different entitlements would take place in the user's home directory. In that model, when a user left and was removed from an org, that storage and the associated assets left with the user. The user storage and the associated assets were no longer accessible to the org. With Adobe's Identity Management Initiative, we are separating a user's login account, where their credentials are, or how a user is known to Adobe, from their entitlement profile, what products they have access to. In the new enterprise storage model, all storage is tied to a business entitlement, entitlements owned by a company. Business entitlements are held in a collective storage, which is owned by the company instead of being tied to the user's login account. So with ESM, we are doing two key changes. We are separating entitlement profiles from login accounts, means that users will no longer stack their entitlements, and entitlements from one organization are held on one profile, and entitlements from a different organization are held separately on a different profile. Users cannot be using both entitlements at the same time. With ESM, where products and quotas are separated out into different entitlement profiles, the storage is allocated for each entitlement profile separately. With ESM, storage belongs to the organization that purchased the subscriptions. This ESM structure enables organizations to deploy collaborative workflows, such as spaces or libraries, while ensuring the organization retains ownership of the assets versus the individual asset creator retaining ownership. Here is a brief summary of the key differences between user storage and enterprise storage models. So today, in a user storage model, all of the user's assets are stored in the user's home storage. Whereas in an enterprise storage model, all of the org assets get stored in an area controlled by the organization, regardless of the user who creates those assets. The home storage for each org member is part of the business directory and that organizational member is a business ID. It is an entitlement profile. It is not a login account. In the enterprise storage model, since the business has administrative control over all the assets in storage, when a user is taken out of an organization, the assets stay behind with the organization, left in a home storage directory owned by the organization. In USM, you get a single user storage area that is the sum of all the user's subscription entitlements, both the subscriptions self-purchased by the user as well as the subscriptions just delegated to that user by any organization. Whereas in ESM, since the entitlement profile is separated out, the ESM storage area has a total quota for the org, everything the org has purchased. Users do not get specific quota. In Creative Cloud Desktop, a quota is shown, but this is a SOC quota correlating to the subscription the user was delegated by that organization. In summary, the key difference between USM and ESM pertains to asset storage and asset reclamation. In USM, when an org removes a user, the user retains full control over the assets. Whereas in ESM, upon user removal, the assets stay in the home storage directory owned by the organization.